is Cheryl. You are a blessing to Shekinah, and so is Miles. Oh, so, when are we going to meet this cousin <clears throat> I hear so much about? She'll be here really soon. She actually texted me not that long ago and told me she'll be here in about 20 minutes. So, oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Cheryl. <clears throat> I, I'm so thankful that you said it was okay for me to bring her here. Of course. I just didn't know what I was going to do if they would have sent her somewhere else. Well, you have Mrs. Weaver to thank for that. Plus, we'll have the new home soon where you all will be able to bring your kids. So, mm. this is just the start. I just can't thank you enough. You are so welcome. <laughs> oh. <coughs> And I'm so glad Mrs. Weaver said her grandson could come and play with Shekinah. I mean, they just seem to be close. And he's the only one that she'll talk to. Well, I do know that children do open up to other children. Plus, I don't mind. I love babysitting Miles while Mrs. Weaver goes visit her husband at the hospital. What? Mm -hmm. What happened to Mrs. Weaver's husband? Girl, somebody robbed him and stabbed him a couple weeks ago. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Wow. But he's doing much better. So, that's a good thing. So, any word on Star yet? <sighs> nope. Mm. And that's what truly scares me. Yeah. I pray every night. That God protects her and nothing happens to her. Yeah. Jesus. Well, just know that I'm praying. The church is praying. Everybody's praying, mm -hmm. okay? And I really believe that she's going to be okay. I really believe that. Speaking <clears throat> about the church. Yes. I hear wedding bells are in the air. Yes. Well, of course, you know, we're getting married soon. Mm -hmm. And we'll be relocating to North Carolina. Well, <laughs> that's good. But you know, hey. I have my doubts. You and everybody else. Due to the fake name that he gave us. I know. But seeing that glow on your face. Oh, I see him a little bit differently. Just a little bit. I know. I know. Yeah, well, I just wish my sister felt the same way. Plus, I wish you could relocate with me. I'm going to miss you. Well, nope. I'm not coming until I get all my girls under the same roof. I understand. I'm still looking for my oldest really? serenity. Wow. Yeah. And listen, can I come around? <laughs> you know, after that Stefan ordeal, and you know him and Denzel was friends, do you blame her? I mean, I know, but Denzel has apologized over and over and over again. Going on the subject, mm -hmm. I want to apologize for fighting in this home. <laughs> I really never got a chance to because of everything that's happened. You know, Monica hit a nerve. <clears throat> And I thank God she hasn't tested me during all of this. No need to apologize, okay? You're fine. Monica was way out of line from what I was told. So she's already had her last warning and she better tighten up, especially if she wants to relocate to this new home with us. <sighs> Are you okay, Shekinah? Yes, I just miss my sister Star. I hope she is okay. My grandfather said she was bad. No, she is not. I hate your grandfather. Star said he was the devil. I hope your grandfather dies. Don't say nothing about my grandfather like that. I don't want you to ever whoa, do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? What's wrong, baby? You, you okay? She kind of being mean to me. He's a bad man. I hate him. I mean, I just hate him. Wait, 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 baby. That's not nice. Mr. Weaver is sick. Miles, I'm so sorry. She kind of is going through a lot. She didn't mean what she said, baby, okay? What happened? Did he say something that set her off? I don't know. I'm just going to go lay her down for a while. Okay. The doctor did say don't overwhelm her. Are you sure she's okay? <sighs> yeah, she'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. Let's go to the room. <clears throat> 
Come on, baby. It's so good. And Miles, I'm going to go get a snack for you, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And can you tell Shekinah I said I'm sorry and I still want to be her friend? Oh, Miles, you're so sweet. When Nizelle and I have a baby, I hope he is as cute and as sweet as you, okay? I'll be right back. Hold on, baby. Let me see who's at the door first, okay? Okay. Hey! Oh, well, hello. 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 Well, let me look at you. How was your drive? Where's the rest of your stuff at? Uh, let me in first. Okay. We have so much. I should have Don't tell me this is why you get married, sure. Or why you hid this handsome fella. Girl, no, this is Miles. And I babysit him for a week that goes to my church. Okay. Yes. Miles, say hello. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Mm. I almost thought you was about to say no. He belongs to Kanai. <laughs> Girl, please. <laughs> you got jokes. I do. Yes. Girl, I can't make me close to that devil enough to give her no baby. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> but listen, I am so glad you're here. Yes. You have no idea. It's been forever. So exciting. But I also want to get your opinion on something. Okay. So Denzel, you know, he's a really nice guy. He. He's God sent. He loves me. He's adored. He adores me. He's intentional. And I just know God sent him to him. I just do. But my sister, <laughs> she is not with it. Well, if this is a bad time, maybe I should come back. No. You <laughs> know I hate being between you and Kanak. Girl, please. But if this man treat you good and he you does. believe he's from God. I do. Then the only approval you need is God. You're right. I don't want to be in any family disagreement. First of all, you are family. Okay, okay, let's get that straight. Second of all, you're here now, so you're stuck. Third of all, you agreed to be my house manager, so therefore, you're not going anywhere, okay? I need a strong woman of God to be here to run this house, especially when I go on my honeymoon and when I go down to North Carolina to relocate. So, no, you're here. That's well, final. Well... I do know how can I can be. She Girl. believes since we found out that I'm not really a style, that I'm just a cherry case. But he was the only father I ever knew. Right. And he loved me no matter what. Right. But it was good to go and meet my real father. I bet. How was that? I found that? out I have. Girl, I have five sisters. Five sisters. Yes. Five? Yes. Well, look, maybe I can trade one of your sisters <laughs> in for the evil <laughs> sister of mine because that girl gets on my nerves. Give her some time. Oh. Long, but in the meantime, pray, mm. pray, pray. Girl, that's all I've been doing, okay? I know, right? Well, <sighs> how many girls would I be managing in this home again? Okay, so it's five girls. So we have Monica, Shay. Shay will be back in about a month or so. And then Peaches. And then we got a new girl in today named Faith and Coco. And Coco's actually upstairs right now with her daughter. That's the one I was telling you about with the situation. Okay, where's the rest? The one named Monica that I need to watch out for. Girl, whew, she had a counseling session today. <laughs> and of course, her road dog, Kana, <laughs> took her. Okay. Before they come, mm -hmm. especially can I show me where I'm gonna be sleeping at? Okay. So I can be rested up. Okay. That 11 hour drive kick my butt. Oh, bed. And I pray I got a big bed. Girl, I got you. All right. Don't I always? <laughs> yes. I got you. But first, let's go get the rest of your things out of the car. Okay. Okay. And I'll take you upstairs. Miles, I'll be right back, sweetie. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Girl, he is too cute. Oh, no way. Thank you, First Lady, for allowing us to come over here. I just didn't want the ladies all up in my business. I hate to keep questioning me and Shekinah about that night. Well, maybe they helped to find Star. You know, detective is coming by today. Maybe. But I'm tired of them questioning my baby. Instead, they should be giving me information on where stars. Maybe that's why the detective 
is coming by. Let's just pray that is the purpose for this visit. Look at her. Just like nothing ever happened. And she plays so well with Miles. Yeah. I thank you and I'm so glad you let him come here. Oh, by the way, have you had a chance to meet this Mr. Denzel? I hear him and Cheryl about to get married soon. Too soon if you ask me. But with everything that's going on, me and Pastor haven't had time just yet. Cheryl says he owns a construction company and he's out of town a lot. But you know, he's also supposed to be Deacon Carlos' cousin. Mm -hmm. So if he gave him a clearance, I guess everything is okay. I'm still a little concerned because I don't like the fact that he lied about it in the beginning. He did expose Stefan to Cheryl and she seems to be truly happy. Oh, this may be the detective. Excuse me, I'll get this, okay? okay. Hi, ah, Detective Monroe. Good afternoon. So I'm glad you're on the case. Sister Coco's in the other room. Okay. Hi, Ms. Jackson. I'm Detective Monroe. I just have a few questions for you and Shekinah, if that's okay. And how are you all doing? We're maintaining. I'm just praying for news on who did this to my daughter and find Star. It, is, that, is that why you're here? You found her? Where is Star? You found her. I'm sorry, nothing as of yet. God, uh, my God, this is crazy. How can a 14 year old be gone this long and the police can't even find okay, her? Okay, Miss Jackson, I understand you're concerned, but we're doing all that we can. I know, but this waiting and worry is killing me. Where could she be? Let me get you guys something to drink and give you a little privacy. That's okay. No thanks. Nothing for me. Miss Jackson, do you mind if I record this conversation? That's fine. If it'll help you find my daughter and the person who did this to my baby. Ms. Jackson, has Shekinah said anything to you as, you know, what happened to her or her sister yet? No. I asked her over and over and she just shuts down. She still shakes and has nightmares. I swear, I want to kill the person who did this to my baby. Okay. Ms. Jackson, please calm down. Use your words wisely and remember that I am a detective and this conversation is being recorded. Now, has Shekinah given you any other information, anything, names? Did she tell you how she ended up in the safe haven home? No. And you know what? I could care less what happens to me. I'm a mother and I meant every word I said. I don't want to talk to Shekinah anymore. I'm going to go home. Tell Papa to come and get me. What's wrong with Shekinah? I'm gonna call this one and pick Miles up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lee, uh, can you come on over and pick Miles up, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mr. Lee is on his way back. What happened? She kind of said she ate my grandpa when I mean, he hurt her in the store and she prayed that he died. Mommy. Mommy, please don't let him come here. I don't want him to hurt me again, please. Who come here? Don't What's wrong, me. baby? Shekinah, who are you talking about? Who hurt you? Can you give me a name? What's wrong? Can you give my baby some room? Can't you see she's scared and confused? Okay, Shekinah. Is what Miles said true? The door was open. I hope you didn't mind if I come on in. Miles, you have an answer. You? You nasty bastard! No! Yeah. no. I can't wait to get this! Get out of this! Get out of this! Get out of this! Get out of this! Back up! Back up! Call 911 now for back up! Miss Oliva! Miss Oliva! Miss Jackson, you are under arrest. No! 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 
I'd meet you in an hour. Never come here again. Well, it seems like every time I need to see you, you've been avoiding me. I've been waiting out here for three hours, so you know I'm serious about our agreement. Plus, you called me to go pick up what you needed earlier. Yeah, I did. You know, come on, let's not talk so loudly. I got eyes and ears all over this place, especially since we got a new manager from hell. Yeah, I feel you. Damn, baby. Right. You look hot. Thank you. I always look hot. So what's up with old girl in there? She riding my baby? Mike, I am no one's baby. Let's get that straight, okay? Did you get what I need? You know me. Now what do I get out of what I did for you? <laughs> <laughs> what you get from the day? So, I tell you what. You must be a real fool to think that I would ever dip in vanilla long. I'll tell you what, you just keep that thought of three years ago, I'll think of something to repay you. Well, what's up with that chick at the safe haven home? Mm. Is she going down for murder? Or did you do that and <laughs> plot it on her? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, you talking about the girl we call Bigfoot? No, she from the hood, for real. Sister is really from the hood. She about pounced on that boy about a thousand feet into the grave. <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> well, we might need her for some other jobs. You just keep that. You just keep your end of the bargain, okay, Mike? Just like we got rid of Shay, I definitely got two more people to get rid of. Permanently. And I tell you what, it's just time for me to make some more of Monica's smoothie drinks. <laughs> I got you, Shorty. What I have this time, we'll have a book before the week is out. Hmm. But hey, hmm. thanks for hooking me up with Sin. No problem. Traveling back and forth from here to Charlotte, mm -hmm. it's going to cost you. And no, she's no match to you in bed. <laughs> so tell me, mm -hmm. what can I tap that again? Okay, like I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, Mike. Like I tell everyone else, you keep on dreaming and you might just wake up lucky. Girl, you are a tease. <laughs> you know that's all mine. Mm -hmm. But here. Ooh, thank you. Watch how much you give them this time. Mm -hmm. We don't need a murder investigation. All right, I will definitely try to do that. But let's get something straight. Monica belongs to no one, Mike. I am my own creator, not yours. And anyway, you just stay focused on sin and keeping her happy before she comes to town and messes it up for the both of us before I can get us paid. My girl, still rough Thank and crazy. You, you, know. you just make sure we get paid soon. Mm -hmm. I need another pair of sneakers. Okay. And what's this I hear about the safe haven? Moving up here. Oh, oh, hold that thought. My phone is buzzing. Oh, that's that dude I need to get in touch with. He's going to get us a lot of money, Mike. Let's go. Come on. Thank you. Hey. Come on. Here comes one of my problems. What's up? I saw you leave earlier, so I figured you might need some help. <laughs> the question is, why are you stalking me, stalker? Oh, okay. Oh, is this the guy you've been hanging out with and sneaking out with all the time? Well, I hope you can ride a roof overhead when she gets kicked out. Oh, so you're the girl that be hating on my girl here? Okay, you must be crazy if you think that. Monica, how about you get this trick away from me and we'll go home? <laughs> oh, I remember you. I got your trick right here. Uh-uh, no. You do All not right, want to go there, not unless you want to leave with that little stick you grabbed, okay? Look, it's time for you to start. I just came out here to tell you that we're about to have dinner, and unless you want Peaches and Tammy to catch you with the wannabe Patrick Swayze, you'll get back to the house. <laughs> like I said before, Faith, three seconds ago, it is time for you to step while you're still breathing. You know what, don't nobody want your crazy desperate behind anyway, so go. 
Monica or what? whoever I'm talking to, that messed up little head of yours, mm -hmm. you don't scare me, honey, Ooh. okay? I'm gonna go back to the house before I have to show you my other side. Show me, boo-boo. I wanna see this, boo-boo kitty. I mean, seriously, why you talking all that mess over there? Like I said, it's time for you to step Honey. before you see what else comes out of me. Oh, you think I'm scared? You I don't care what comes out of you. you Come on, let's go. Hey, ladies, let's go for your house. Hey, look, I know I'm a good looking man. Okay. And ladies, would love to take me home. But instead of fighting like a bunch of alley cats, check it out, shorties. I gotta go. I gotta meet somebody. So why don't both of y'all hit me up later, and we can make this into a threesome with the team. Oh my. You know, bye, okay? Ooh. You two are perfect for each other, by the way. You're both real life nutcases. Bye bye. <laughs> Who are you? I know you was just kidding, but let me go on and get back to this house before that nutcase go running her mouth to Cheryl. I ain't got time for that. And plus, I might have to give her one of Monica's smoothie drinks now. But this conversation is not over. I know. Coco Jackson live here. Yes, and you are? Can I come in? Okay, well just come in. Uh, little girl, don't you take another step. Like I asked, does Coco Jackson live here? Let me ask you again, who are you? What's all the commotion? Girl, this little girl come up in my house demanding all these answers for Coco with all this attitude and can't even tell me who she is. Do I need to call the police? Listen. Uh, well, let's just see what she got to say first. I'm just here for my little sisters, since Coco Jackson doesn't even know how to take care of her kids. Little girl, I'm gonna need for you to lose all of this attitude, okay? And I'm gonna ask you for the very last time, who are you? I'm her oldest daughter, Serenity. <laughs> Came from the cross as an adolescent from an adolescent Stayed on top of the things that made me feel like I was on the bottom Like I was born a problem, rather die a leader, I don't wanna follow Hoping I can write forever, my immortal column is well for all us Blocker, the roller blogger, after our devilish ways we pray to our father Is that proper? Mother Earth is God's daughter They don't know the signs, we so defined, we don't know the signs when we be multiplying We get so divided, and no assignments completed with no consignment Moment of silence cause we had talked to violence See I ain't I'm afraid to admit it, I just call it how I see it Cause see my point of view is just an opinion Take it or leave it, better believe it Cause everything I say to you is real when I speak it Too real to you, I'm real to you Sacrifice and pain and lose Trying to live my life the right way Despite all these obstacles Too real to you I've been through It's so hard to find the truth I know if I keep my faith in God Then He will guide me you a man of God, or is it just a suit that you wear to blend in like camouflage? I feel the church has been sabotaged, can see the pastor got a mistress and she pregnant bound. Since it's a secret, she ain't trying to keep it, and that was all the reason they needed to abandon Monica Stevens. She grew up feeling odd, now she trying to get even. She want revenge, so she plotting and scheming, bobbing and weaving the consequences. Without stopping and think it's all pretentious, a lot of people need to stop pretending. And if I hit a nerve good, I got an awkward sensor, telling you the real just in the way that's comprehensive. She grew up in a foster home without a mom and dad to call her home. Christian. I'm a boss. Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. Christian. I'm a boss. Christian. I'm a boss. Christian. I'm a boss. Christian.
Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. Christian, I'm a boss. I'm Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. Christian, I'm a boss. I'm Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. Christian, I'm a boss. I'm Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. Christian, I'm a boss. I'm Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. Christian, I'm a boss. I'm Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. Christian, I'm a boss. I'm Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a Christian. Christian, I'm a boss. I'm Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a shine like glass. I'm a Christian. I'm a boss. I'm a I can't stop thinking about what they did to me, our sister, and what they did to you, Curtis, for trying to protect me all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I think about how I failed you. You never failed me. Our uncles was just bigger and stronger. You had to know that. Yeah. Nobody been mess with you now. Church, and I want to tell you this morning that it's just like the devil to show up in God's house. Yes, yes, I'm talking to you.